it has had next to zero. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had uh, that inkling feeling? I guess that uh, that getting into a bottle of wine is just a little bit too hard, mm. and you need some assistance. Yeah. Okay. Once you get into the bottle of wine, you're just you're exhausted. You know, you can't you can't possibly bring yourself to be able to pick that bottle up and and actually pour out the wine. What number bottle of wine in your so night is that? For? We oh, actually one. have the electronic wine aerator that will do it for you. <laughs> so this <laughs> here is. Uh, Make the life tasteful. Um, uh, it's the tasteful okay. life. Uh, but this here we picked up off AliExpress. It is currently available. Uh, we, can, we can talk about the price of it later. But um, let's check it out. Let's let's see what this Here's actually this, is. You don't want to see that. We've got the mine has the invoice. It's actually the some pretty good craftsmanship. You know, it's 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 cool. It's got this sort of molded plastic vibe. Um, it's you know, it's. We're talking wine. That's exactly it's, what you want. Um, so I'm, I get. I'm guessing this is some kind of like suction tube, um, and then oh, it's that lovely noise. And this is, I guess, this this particular unit here. Um, that. So what's, I, I'm assuming. Wine aeration. Why are we aerating wine? Why are we aerating wine? Well, I guess like when you have like a. And a wine that even when you open it seems what we call closed. It's tight. It's uh, the tannins are like uh, you know quite restrictive to the actual flavour of the wine. So if you, as soon as you start increasing it with oxygen, that's why you swell the Is it wine to get more aroma, or and you open wine earlier to decant it. To, not to do not, that. not not stale in a sense, but it's all is it almost like still like water that's been sitting in a bottle for a long time. It's better just to I sort of like, like I think that's stagnant. Stagnant. Uh, uh, stagnant, uh, stagnant, stagnant, stagnant wine. Yeah, <laughs> this is, this that... is the tool for stagnant wine. Yeah. That's why we're aerating. Uh, well, look. To be honest, I've got my own sort of personal views with wine aeration. I wine wine will eventually get aerated anyway, yeah, right in naturally. glass, and that's why we're doing like the swirly, swirly yeah, sort of thing. That's one part of it. There's many reasons why we'll do that, um, except. This here is apparently a tool that may be through what we call the Venturi effect. If you've seen some other wine aerators that are real simple things that draw air down the side, we've got a couple we might review in the future. Um, but this here, I thought was so cool. So you basically grab your bottle of wine, right? And then you, you whack this on top. And it's, oh, it's not reaching, it's not and reach. it's not reached. All right, I wonder if we, we need to Just grab it, just grab it in your bottle of wine. Grab it in your bottle of wine. Grab it in the Scarlet. Oh, it's just so fucking exhausting. To yeah. open this every, book, every you know, twist is every, like one hike up a mountain. Yeah, yeah, and at the very end of it, you just, you know, this is probably the hardest bit. Oh. Mm. And again, oh. yeah. and that's just too much. The lack of acid is yeah. just going the crazy. The build up there, and you just got enough to really put this on top, and then you press this little button. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so we're tapping wine. We're just tapping wine. Why didn't you say we put this on the keg? Yeah, great. It's bubbly. It's, <laughs> this is pretty cool. So I think what you looks like a fucking dodo. It, uh, <laughs> like what? What? Imagine oh, if looks like one of, looks like one of your house. It's one of the seagulls. <laughs> like, let me just crack the wine out. It's genuinely one of the seagulls from Finding Nemo. It's probably crazy, but do you not fine, need, do you fine, not need to pour this? Fine. Like, do you not need to pour it? Like, is that not? Like, is that not more appropriate way to do it? I'm not sure. That's mind skills. Because uh, you've got, we've both got head. I don't. Is that what you want in your wine? You both. Uh, just I want don't. That. I don't think it is. To be honest, like, I, like you would need to okay. obviously have a way to clean clean this out. But I reckon we should do a control. Yeah. So, so yeah, that okay. is. So do a do a pour without the aerator. Yeah. So oh, I don't know, man. It's it's really hard. It's, Actually, you've just you've just opened the bottle. Have you got the strength to continue? Do you need nowhere to pour the wine, boy? Oh, you've yeah. poured. Uh, Guys, you have no idea. That's you have tough. no idea. That's tough. You have That's no tough. idea. And if after you have a few ones, it didn't get tough. <laughs> the best so, thing about this is that it vibrates. It, really? How many how many items in your house now? Did this, are did you this like, say wine? Yeah, it says wine. It's definitely built for wine. <laughs> it's not built for anything else. Um, all right. Noah, would you do the yeah, honors I'll, I'll do the taste to taste so this, this, this here is the one that the has not been run through and the aerator. And this is the aerator. Yeah. And freshly opened Gaglioppo. So Gaglioppo. Gaglioppo? Yeah. Gaglioppo. So a relatively tannic wine. Sort of spicy and dusty. Mm. Very, very cool. Calabrian wine. Yeah, still chalky. Still got that kind of leathery kind of thing to it. So I'm interested to see if it's 
So what are we meant to expect? Obviously, a, a, a more light. This is a very quick process filling it, this up. Like, it was ba turbocharged aeration. Yeah. Basically, what you want to see is that th this wine, when it's opened, like after a couple of days or at least a couple of hours. Yeah. So and all of those tannins kind of mellow out a bit. It's not as aggressive. It has had next to zero <laughs> on the flavor of the wine. All right, so so, so for next to zero uh, difference on the wine, how much would you expect to pay for what is probably more, I guess, gimmick value uh, of this? Um, for that, I, I reckon you're probably going to be paying sixty dollars for that. Sixty I, bucks because because 60 it's, bucks. it's electronic and it's stainless steel. Is it? I think. What it's, do you mean it's I, electronic? I, I think it's plastic. It just looks. Okay. Oh, there's a bit of a tink there. That's definitely stainless steel. That's rubber. So oh, is wow. this battery operated? Is this what we're talking about? It's, yeah, it's this battery operated. Jeez, I, look, I'm, I'm gonna yeah. lock in my answer at forty-eight ninety-nine. Undercut sixty. Um, this piece of tech right here, um, to buyer's market, I'd have to say thirty-two eighty. Thirty-two eighty. Yeah. Well, uh, no, we should have kept with your original guess. It was forty-five US dollars. Oh my goodness! <laughs> forty-five US dollars to leave it off AliExpress. So what do you say, like almost seventy bucks Australian? Yeah, yeah, almost. Yeah, Dep depending on the day, it changes. It yeah. fluctuates like crypto. Just for, for, the view, for the viewers at home, these are the two wines that have been bought. Yeah. Corporate needs you to find the difference between these two wines. They're the same wines. So that does <laughs> nothing. <laughs> that does yeah, you are That is a waste of seventy dollars and you could buy a really great bottle of wine. What you could do what you could do is if Jeez. you want the same effect of having a nozzle on top of your wine, bunnings, right? You've got those little spray bottles that you use in the garden, bang that in the top of your wine, squirt it out. <laughs> That's It'll a... have bubbles in it as well. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. So in short, I would say uh, pretty shitty wine invention. Don't buy this. Don't buy this. <laughs> don't buy this. Uh, we, yeah. I, I don't think it's really this useful. This is a scam. And myth busted. Don't myth buy busted. this one. Buy the one we're going to make you in four weeks' time on the show. Yeah. It's going to be way yeah. better. For a fraction of the cost. And until next week, that shit wine inventions. <laughs> <laughs> Why?